Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Zora Zyma Roweke and I'm a dentist, but you could also call me a dental surgeon. I trained in the People's Republic of China at Shanghai Jiao Tong University in Shanghai, one of the best universities um, for medicine. I attained a bachelor's degree in dental surgery and it is in Chinese. And I also hold a diploma in stomatology. It is in Chinese again. What I could say um, is dentistry, basically you're working with people and helping them with their oral hygiene. Uh, sometimes it's preventative, sometimes it's restorative, and you know, sometimes you really have to take out the tooth from their mouth because it's too late, and which is a norm really in, in Africa. And uh, generally, it's a job that requires you to be very patient, very compassionate, because Generally, you're dealing with people who are scared of dentists. They have a phobia. So you have to curb that by being very patient, compassionate. And explaining to patients is one of the key um, qualities for a dentist before you touch them. Let them come to terms with what you're going to do. And sometimes you face difficulties, especially with the pedodontic patients. Uh, children are a little bit of a problem because they cannot always cooperate, especially if they're much younger. So you have to be very patient because sometimes you may be required to do things that you were not taught in the books, like begging them, you know, uh, giving them sweets. Imagine the irony. <laughs> but um, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, it's a good job because you get to interact with all kinds of people. You make friends and you understand what is happening in your community. In Zimbabwe in particular, I've noticed that uh, a lot of people visit the dentist when they're in trouble. They don't normally come for just an ordinary checkup, a routine checkup. They will visit the dentist when they're in pain. Now, dealing with people who are in pain and who are frustrated because of the discomfort, also frustrated because of the economics behind whatever procedure they have to go through is not very easy. So you might find yourself also being frustrated because of the moods and, and so on. But these are things you always have to be prepared for. And um, it's about the touch. Dentistry is not always about the books and the theory. It's about the touch. Are you able to connect with people gently? Sometimes you don't do a very... Um, complicated procedure but a patient feels at home just because they feel you are very gentle with them so these are some of the qualities you need if you're not a very patient person compassionate person uh, you might find this career a little challenging but um, the things I love about my job are like I've said connecting with different people and bringing healthy smiles it's good for people to smile, but I think it is scary you've seen it when people smile at you and they have yellow teeth, broken teeth. So I love to, to, you know, to restore people's smiles. The things that I do not like about my job is you have to pay attention to your personal health as a dentist um, in terms of backache because of the sitting position every other day. Uh, you also have to always cover yourself when you're working with patients because Dentists are very prone to uh, hepatitis B and other infections because of the nature of the procedures. So you also, those kind of things, sometimes you think about them or you don't think about them, but of course those are things you're not going to really love about the job. So this is what I'd normally look like in my working space. If I'm not in the surgery, I'll just have a, a, a clinical coat on. This is the clinical coat and you wear this to protect yourself from any infections from the patient and you also wear this to protect uh, the patient from any infections coming from yourself. But remember, you have your home clothes inside, so this is to cover you throughout the whole day and when you finish work, you remove it and you leave it at work and it is cleaned um, in a special manner, like sterile and all that. And now, if I were in surgery, I would also be wearing goggles to protect my eyes the face mask, the face guard, and a hat to protect you from any infections that could go in your hair and so on, so that when you go home, you don't carry these um, these uh, microorganisms with you. And um, so generally, I wear a trousers every other time because of the sitting position. 
because it is good for you to put your feet apart and have both your feet on the ground when you're working on the dental chair to protect your back. Now you can't really do that all the time with a skirt and I think you understand why. So this is how you normally look like. Smart, do you like it? But how did I come to choose this career? I myself being a woman, I went and I studied about dentistry before I went to school and I figured it was a suitable career for somebody like myself who eventually aspires to be a mother, uh, a wife one day. So it's a very flexible career. You can still afford to have a social life and uh, a good career that, you know, gives you a social status, but at the same time, it's, it's comfortable. I chose dentistry because I was inspired by a toothache. I personally lost a first motor when I was only 16 years old and it was a very torturous experience but because of that when I got the tooth pulled out after the infection and after trying to save this tooth and it didn't work because of that pain and when it when they extracted my tooth I felt so much relief and I could not believe a human being could actually bring somebody to experience such kind of relief and I said one day I would really want to be the hero you know so because of that I was inspired and I love smiles um, I have a weakness for smiles I decided to take up my program in another language so I am a level five uh, in Mandarin proficiency and that's an added advantage I would not advise you however to study uh, medical sciences in other languages that comes with its own advantages and disadvantages but generally speaking if you're a female and you are still in high school, think about dentistry.